warmth and blaze of color of the coronation's vivid pageantry is an artist's dream. And in fact, that historic scene in Westminster Abbey with its unforgettable splendor was captured for all time in this famous painting by Terence Cunion. That masterpiece and others can never be repeated. But a new reproduction process developed at this studio in London is now making perfect facsimiles of them available to us all. Here, the most beautiful paintings of both the past and the present, like Renoir's On the Terrace, are produced for the first time on canvas. Not paper prints, but hand over painted reproductions. A machine that took six years to perfect makes the actual reproductions, which are then overpainted by a staff of skilled artists. Each copy is so like the original that it has to be identified by a special seal so that it can never be passed off as a genuine old master. For as little as two guineas, art lovers of moderate means can now own a copy of Degas' priceless The Class or any one of 200 paintings. Putting a final varnish on a reproduction of Rubens' Portrait of a Child is artist Julien Kenney. Between them, the staff of eight artists finish off a hundred reproductions a day, each one personally checked by Mrs. Erna Field, who invented the process and organized Britain's first factory of art. Mrs. Field's aim is cheapness and perfection and to double her present output to meet the growing demand for her paintings. She hopes, too, to make such masterpieces as Renoir's Le Moulin de la Galette not just household names, but household possessions. The Table by Toulouse-Lautrec. Degas' The Class. The Longlois Bridge by Van Gogh. Vermeer's Woman of the Virginal, with all its detail. The Flower Piece by Weiss. Paintings, hundreds of them, whose color and beauty once brightened only the walls of mansions and art galleries, which can now enrich all our homes.